Well, again, I, I think with the current economy the way it is, we're now willing to entertain questions that we wouldn't even think of two or four years ago. And so now is an opportunity to, for us to, to reinvent, redesign, restructure government, to go back and start looking, okay, is, is this the business that we're supposed to be in, or can the private sector do it better, or can a partnership do it equally as well? Uh, for example, and this is just a small portion of the budget, but a state park doesn't need to be open 24-7, 365. It can be closed for a season because it needs to rest and recuperate and rejuvenate. Uh, there can be a partnering of special interests. Now, when I say special interests, I don't mean that unkindly. I mean, it may be the off-road people. It may be the ATV or association. It may be the motor dirt bike people that have an interest in that park being open. Well, why not partner with them to have them take ownership of it and be able to monitor it, police it, and be able to have user fees so they can maintain and operate it. It's not required for us as a state government to be in everything. You can partner it out. Gilbert's been an excellent example of that because they don't have any primary property tax. So they've never had money to do anything. And so as a consequence, they've always had to partner with somebody else on anything that's of quality of life. And so that, that, has, that has to be done. The other thing is, is come back and say, you know, does government need to be in this line of work? Can that be done by a private, by the private sector? You know, a motor vehicle department. You stand in line to get a number, to sit in line to wait for to get another number to be able, and you simply say, what's the motivation? Can this be done faster? How can it be done faster? Can we incentivize those who are doing the job? And if we can't incentivize it, can we have the private sector do it and do it as well or more efficiently? And, you know, we, we should be looking at that.